Hello, I'm back and I have a new 3D printer. And I can't stop using it. I'm spending too much time in the basement printing stuff. In this video I will show you my new 3D printer, which is Artillery Sidewinder X2. And I need to admit I'm addicted. I spent the last couple of days printing these items. I had so much fun and I also learned a lot. My favorite project was this. I will show you this mighty device later in the video. But this is my first, we can say, well protected electronic project. Thanks to this 3D printer. So, printer. They sent me this printer to test it because I'm awesome. I'm not an expert in 3D printing, but I will tell you why I decided to try and use this model. Because it is beginner friendly. It is easy to set up, it looks good, it has a large working area, it is really fast and it is blue. This is a modern 3D printer with modern features I will explain later. And I also forgot uh, to tell you that this 3D printer can produce really nice results. Check for example this test model. Very nice. To justify the time spent in the basement I even printed this cake topper. I printed many interesting items and I learned a lot about settings, slicing and filaments. Today 3D printing is not that hard and 3D printers are not that expensive. And it is very easy to find help online. There is like million tutorials, free models, lessons, software settings and so on. I will use this printer for my electronic projects but this device is very useful to have. You can make all sorts of items by yourself. Like for example these tiny boxes, cases, holders, all kind of useful items. Features of this 3D printer are large printing area, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters large print area. Proximity extruder. The Titan extruder with volcano head, which extrudes faster and more. And changing materials is also very easy. Automatic bed leveling. Ultra, ultra quiet stepper motors and quiet printing. I can confirm that. This device is really quiet. AC heated bed, bed is heated very fast and it has over current, over voltage, over temperature and short circuit protection. Dual Z axis which are synchronized. Here is filament sensor so printing resume after power interruption or filament run out, fast printing speed, stable speed is 100 mm per second and speed limit is 150 mm per second and here we can see 120 mm per, se per second printing, very fast. Intelligent interaction touchscreen control, simple structure, Printing from USB drive or from SD card. USB drive was included and there is also included USB cable. And this printer came 95% pre-installed. It took 3 minutes to complete the installation with simple steps. And also here is video that can help you if you are not 
Sure, what are you doing? Overall, this is a nice 3D printer and I'm enjoying using it. It is easy to assemble, it is fast and easy to use. I will leave a link in the description, so feel free to check it out. Also, uh, they gave me a discount code for my subscribers. With this code you will get $50 off. So make sure to use code if you want to buy this. Artillery is a great company and this 3D printer is recommended by many sites and professionals. And finally here is my mighty device. It looks like something from first Star Trek. Captain, I have strange readings. So, what is this? Right now I don't know what is this, but I will find purpose for this, maybe to control my heating and some switches. I always need more push buttons, more switches and uh, more input devices than uh, these two built-in buttons, but I hate breadboards lately so I tried to make something like this something that can be used in real life of course I will need to choose nicer color but I like this blue so this device is based on Yes, yes, I know, very nice soldering job. This device is based on TTGO T display board, so this one. I haven't used this board for a while because, as you know, I'm using new version, which is LilyGo T display S3, which is better, larger, but I decide to use this one because this one is much cheaper. I think it is less than $10 and this one will charge this battery. New version don't have built-in charger. So I designed this box. And I added few push button, push buttons, this toggle button, this LED. I made one mistake. Potentiometer is connected to pin that needs to be low when board boots. So when I turn, if potentiometer is turned here, it will not boot. But if is low, it will boot. And yes, I also added uh, this annoying buzzer underneath. So with, right now with these two buttons I can set brightness of the screen, even I can set it to zero. I need to correct that. With these two built-in buttons I can turn on or off these switches and when buttons are pressed I have this 
annoying LED and also I have this annoying beeper but I can turn my sound off and now there is no beeping very good and if I turn this this is three-way toggle switch so first position is I don't I don't know can you see this screen is inverted first position is this second position is this and third position is sound off I will share my files for the case and I will share code of course if you want to play with it and if you can make something useful from it thank you have a nice day look this awesome works buzzer potentiometer two push buttons I will leave parts link, parts list in description. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.